Hello everybody. Copyright is the bane of every writer's existence and it probably irritates publishers just as much. There are two reasons for this. Nobody wants their work stolen. The creative process in art, music and writing is badly rewarded enough as it is. You don't want the added loss of your work taken and reproduced by somebody else. Ensuring that doesn't happen is one thing. You start, of course, by telling people that you own the copy. And you do so by including a statement at the front of your book. And you can see the first thing that you include on the screen now. It's the copyright symbol, which is a C inside a circle. And then you need the word copyright. You need the first year of the publication. And you need, of course, the, your name or the name of the copyright owner. Here's the copyright notice for one of my books. I've used a more inclusive catch-all kind of statement, but a simple statement works just as well but you have to have those four elements included in it. Now that may deter some people but chasing copyright theft or plagiarism is a major task and your publisher might help or they might not. I expect ripping off JK Rowling or Stephen King is probably a pretty difficult proposition but stealing my work, probably not so much. I'm not a well-known author and I don't have the time myself to check who has taken my work. There's a second irritation, which is actually the opposite of the first. Using other people's work. Yes, you may want to use other people's work, which is covered by copyright. I do a lot. Why? My books are fiction, but I base them as much as I can on research on historical and geographic or scientific facts. And these facts have almost certainly been written about by somebody else. And their work will be covered by copyright. They own the copyright. I research my books meticulously by reading as much as I can and using what I read to set the context or frame the story. Building a world in which my characters live and live out the tale that I'm telling. Inevitably, this process means that I have to be extremely careful about copyright. If I want to quote a research paper or perhaps a biography extensively, I must contact the copyright holder and seek their permission. As an example, when I wrote about Alan Turing in my book, Gateway to Gandamak, I relied extensively on the main biography of Alan Turing, written by Dr Hodges, who's a professor at Oxford University. He kindly gave me the permission to use and quote from his book and without asking for any payment. But some copyright holders will ask for a fee, and those don't come cheap. You need to be specially careful about songs, song lyrics and photographs. There are software packages that are used to hunt down copyright infringers. And the music folk in particular are remorseless, even if you use a few lines of their song. What can you do to offset some of this hassle without infringing legitimate copyright? Pay the fees, of course. But if, like me, your research is extensive, it becomes prohibitively expensive and time-consuming to do that. There are two things. Fair use. Briefly, that means using a very short piece of text in an appropriate manner that doesn't damage the interests of the copyright holder. Here's a quote. A limitation to copyright intended to balance the interests of copyright holders with the public interest in the wider distribution and use of creative works. End quote. 
and I took that from Wikipedia. See what I did? I took a short quote, identified the source, and used it to make a point. That's fair use. The second thing is what's called scraping. Technically, data scraping means to, again a quote, process of importing data from websites into files or spreadsheets. It's used to extract data from the web, either for personal use by the scraping operator or reusing the data, unquote. There it is, fair use game. I use the term scraping to describe my constant activity of copying and pasting text into Word files and then rewriting or summarising what they say. I rely heavily on my research notes. These scraped files, if you want, are my paints or building bricks. Yes, I'm using other people's hard work to make mine easier. But I am not, repeat not, copying or plagiarising their work. I'm using the information they've provided, presented in another form, in my style, to make something entirely new. And where it may be obvious that the words are summarised from another source other than my imagination, I provide the source, footnoted, and also in a bibliography of main sources and references. So I'm trying to give credit where credit is due for work that I've used. So this brings me to the vex question du jour. Isn't this scraping exactly what chat GPT and the other AI information systems are doing? And yet this lady is suing. She's suing chat GPT and Zuckerberg's meta company. But see what I did there. I included the original and the secondary source of the photograph and I asserted fair use because I am using it to make a point. The Silverman case has yet to be heard in court, but I contend that there's no difference between what ChatGPT is doing with a silicon brain, scraping and using whatever it can come across to construct an answer, and what I do as a meat brain researching my notes. It seems to me that there's no difference between using a laptop, Mr Google and Wikipedia, and what I did 50 years ago at Oxford University in the Bodleian Library, with index cards, books, a notebook and a pen. Or what I do professionally as a consultant. There's the old adage in my profession, a consultant is somebody who asks you for the answers and then charges you for repeating them back. If the defendants in this case lose, what does it mean for me and you? Are we creative writers going to have to do some purely original research, like a painter having to use different paints or Van Gogh's descendants will sue us? I'll finish with this. The other day I asked ChatGPT for a citation of a 14th century book. It's about Ethiopia and I need a quote for my new book, Guardian of Kings. Having asked, ChatGPT apologised. It said it was unable to help me. It said it avoided direct access to specific publications because of copyright concerns. So the truth is that right now the AI folks are aware of the copyright issue and they are taking some steps, probably as far as they can, to avoid the legal implications of what all that means. There's a lot more to copyright than I've been able to talk about here, but this is a start and I hope you found it useful. If you have... Please give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.